do you deal with a parent? How do you look them in their face knowing that they took your other parent? Many of you know that when I was 12 years old, my father shot and killed my mother Clarice. I was 12 years old. I was in the house when it happened. I heard the two gunshots and for decades, I despised my father. I thought about killing my father. My father said it was an accident. I heard everything. I knew it wasn't an accident. I am guilty. I was am guilty of taking away my son's mother, his children's grandmother. It's not a good feeling. Even understanding, not talking, talking in front of me. This is not easy. Well, I'm going to talk with you about a story related to Dan Markell and Wendy Adelson. Dan Markell was shot and killed July 18th, 2014 in his driveway. Wendy Adelson is his ex-wife. There's a lot of reason to believe that she was part of a setup to have this man killed. They had two boys. They were three, four, they were either three and four or four and five respectively when this, when this murder took place, when their father was murdered. As he pulled into their driveway, pulled into their driveway, a hitman comes up and shoots him while he's sitting in his car. Dan Markell is killed by two people hired by his brother-in-law, killed by his ex-wife's brother. Why would she want her husband killed? Well, they were going through a contentious divorce. They had children. They were living in Tallahassee. He was a professor at Florida State University, a law professor at Florida State University. And they were going through a divorce and she wanted to take the children to Miami where her, where her parents lived. He wasn't having it. He was a father. He wanted the children to stay close to him. They, they got into a real nasty custody battle. As it turns out, he winds up getting shot and killed, allowing her to take the children to Miami. I'm going to talk about this, this, this case, but I'm less concerned with the case of what happened between, uh, Dan Mark Hill and Wendy Adelson. I'm less concerned with that. I am more thinking about the two boys who at the time were three and four. And they are now 10 years later, they are 14. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're 14 and 13, 14 and 13. Now they're not, they're not toddlers anymore. And they have lived with this. They actually live with their mother. They live with their mother, a woman that many people suspect was part of a plot to kill their father. 13 and 14 years old, everybody knows the impact that social media has on us. These boys, I am sure, have access to all kinds of social media, all kinds of social media. And they, um, if they're not bombarded with the story of their father being killed by hitmen who their uncle hired, their mother's brother hired people to kill their father, their uncle. His name is Charles Adelson. They call him Charlie. Some people call him Fast Charlie. He ran a dental operation, was a pretty wealthy guy, and according to some reports, pretty arrogant dude as well. Arrogance is just, you know, arrogance gets you a long way until somebody catches up with your ass, right? So Charlie is Wendy's older brother. It's my understanding from the reports that I've seen that she wanted a divorce. She wanted to get away from Dan. She got the divorce, but then she wanted to take the children. He wasn't having it. He didn't want to be that far away from his children. So it looks like Charlie, who has been convicted, he was convicted back in December, 2023. He's been sentenced to life in prison in conjunction with this murder. He had the father of his nephews killed. He had the ex-husband of his sister killed. And you know what else? His mother was part of it. His mother 
Donna Adelson was part of it. She was arrested trying to flee the country. She was arrested just as she was about to board an airplane, either in late December or January. She's She tried to flee the country and get to Vietnam. She is connected with the murder of her grandchildren's father. You have to look this up or you can keep checking back in with me. You want more details about some of that stuff? You can find it anywhere. I'm going to talk some about that. But what I'm talking about is what I remember as a child. Dealing with my father, my father shot and killed my mother. I was in the house when it happened. Dealing with a parent who has killed your other parent. Dealing with a parent who denies that they did it. Who makes up stories about what happened. How do you deal with a parent? How do you look them in their face? Knowing that they took your other parent. 